Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a first look map video with me Siwadi here at Farming Simulator 22 where I'm going to be checking out the 4x flat map by Steving. So we are just loading up the map, loading into the map for the very first time. The flat out farm 4x version 1.002 by Stevie. Thought I'd have a quick look at it today as this is a map that I would like to run on my multiplayer server in the future sometime. Um, gonna see how it looks. Um, initial look of this screen would indicate that the fields are a little bit square and blocky. It's always a little negative, I have to say. Uh, perfectly square fields are always a little bit frustrating and annoying to play as. As an experienced farm sim player now, a little bit boring. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. Until, I guess, giants give map makers tools to make irregular fields with proper definitions a lot easier in Giants Editor. We're always going to struggle. Right. Well, here we are, ladies and gents. We're outside the house. Very familiar looking um, house as seen on Stevie's maps. Obviously, currently playing on Tranquil Waters. I am. So, I would expect similar assets to be used. I mean, the house looks basically exactly the same. Uh, I'm surprised because that is normally like a fountain there. Hmm. Interesting. It's not a fountain in this map. You've got the bees. I'm not sure you'd want beehives right next to your house. But hey-ho. <laughs> you get stung to death. Um, but yeah, this is a 4x map, so let's have a look at the map. We have got, uh, it looks like, is it 19 fields? 19 fields. They're huge fields. There's obviously a lot of cell points down that side. I'll sell points along the bottom. Sell points on the west side. No, a couple of things along the top with a couple of placeable areas for people to put their own productions and things. Obviously, central based farm. Uh, we've got the store down here, quite close to the farm. We've also got the grain elevator sell point. Ringwood's house, small remote high capacity storage, farm supplies by Stevie. So there's a small house down here. Okay. From the Ringwoods. We've also got free water supply. Large barn cell points. So there's another like potential farm area here. Almost like two farms. Interesting. Bakery. Gas station. Gas station. Mexican restaurant. Grocery mart. Fast food. Poolside snacks. Grain mill. Oil field. Selling point. Animal dealer. Dairy. Again, more room for placeables here. Uh, along the bottom of the map. Vehicle shop. Gas station. Diesel refinery, potato cleaning, grape processing, large sugar mill, oil mill, french fries, cereals, rail train, southern grain rail, spinnery cell point, uh, placeable area there, carpentry, mill, mill log sales, sawmill, that's all that's the electric charge station, bio... Um, Biogas, BGA, and then we've got 
Canyon Hill silo cell point. Uh, hilltop mill cell point. Composting and wood chipping plant. And the biomass plant. So all the things we usually come to expect from a Stevie map are included. So we've got additional crops. We've got alfalfa, onion, rye, millet, hops, poppy. And then we've also got red beets, carrots and parsnips from the premium pack. Um, I'm going to guess we've got Stevie's stones. Yeah, we've got six different layer levels of stones on the map. Uh, which can be a little bit annoying. <laughs> um, especially with the AI farmers that don't obviously do any stone picking. Got you with your water tank there. Um, We've run around the main farm. We've got combine header here for the case. Bradle lime spreader. This is obviously started up in New Farmer. Uh, trailer there. John Deere 9R tractor with John Deere planter. Obviously fuel tank there. John Deere 8R with Amazoni cedar. Another John Deere 8R with a forage collector. Uh, farm supply station here for buying all your seeds and fertilizers and stuff direct at the farm if you're into that. Um, then we've got obviously silage bunkers here. And then obviously onto animals. Uh, over here we've got the mineral feed production for making and producing mineral feed you've got your manure and slurry storage tank here obviously manure pit Ooh. these don't have feeding robots ah, so you're gonna have to do self-feeding this time stevie hasn't done the feeding robot option uh, milk homogenizer for producing homogenized milk. Uh, we've got your sugar beet chopping machine here for making chopped sugar beets, which I used in the production of, uh, I think it's mineral feed and also um, pig food. There's, a, there's an option in one of Stevie's machines to do pig food. Um, and chopped sugar beets is one of the uh, recipes. Okay, so we have got uh, sheep. Stevie's sheep barn. And I'm guessing we've got pigs. Yeah, Stevie's pig barn. We have another pig barn, are we? No, chickens. That's a strange. Yeah, he's dialed back a bit. Normally, you know, he, he, on those last couple of maps, he's given you like two pig barns and uh, the chickens, uh, uh, two cow barns to start with, um, horses and everything, but he's, he's dialed it back a little bit. Object storage, uh, giants building there. Obviously, your main farm silo. Obviously, covering this incredibly quickly. Uh, storage shed here. Yes. Put your truck. Then you've got your, your lime crusher. Uh, a stone crusher to make lime. You've got your, your fertilizer and liquid fertilizer production machine. So manure, slurry, digestate in here with water. You get solid fertilizer and liquid fertilizer out. Uh, then you've got your seed maker. So again, wheat, barley goes in. Uh, liquid fertilizer goes in and seed comes out. Uh, which is nice. You've got your barn cell point here, bale cell point. So all your straws, grass, hay, silage, alfalfa, 
etc. can all be sold here. Anything that's bailable or is in bail form can be sold in there. Then you've got some more machinery. You've got the chrome mower. Little John Deere 8RX with Stevie's um, platinum plow thing. Uh, Kinsey Mac Till 412 subsoiler that requires 615 horsepower. So yeah, you're going to need to use the big 9R tractor for that. Um, yeah, there's the barn again. Obviously, all of these have lights that you can turn on with the click of the left stick or whatever button you use to turn the lights on if you play with keyboard. Uh, for me, it's just clicking left stick on a controller. In here, we have obviously our harvester. And it's, we've got the big case this time. So, Stevie giving us some slightly different equipment. We've been running a lot of John Deere on his previous maps, like Tranquil Waters, um, Four Hills. And it's nice to see things, him change up the starting fleet. There is an additional mod to download with this pack, and I will show you that. Um, where is it? It's the Tempo DLC Vegetable Planter, edited by Stevie. Um which does the onions, sugar beet, potatoes, parsnips, carrots, and red beets. Um, and that's, that's like pretty cool. Pretty cool, cool. Uh, that's in the description on the YouTube video. Stevie now releases all his, all his links to download the maps and mods and his mods are all done now via his YouTube page. So if you go to the YouTube video for this map on Stevie's uh, YouTube channel, the download links will be in the description of the video. Um, where was I going? I want to go back this way to the silo because obviously you've got the little production buildings which I've missed. Another little water spawning tank there obviously a couple of more sheds uh, again object storage but you no reason why you can't park a vehicle in it whilst it's empty right we have got silage making machine here we've got grass drying machine as well we've got tmr mixer pig food mixer and a manure mixer Somewhere, somewhere, there should be a small compost mixer. There normally is. Uh, unless he's not put one in at the main farm. Uh, yeah, there's normally a compo little compost mixer. I'm sure it's in the productions. Small multi fruit composter. Yeah, there is one. There is one. I just don't know where it is on the farm. This is the thing about doing absolute genuine first looks. I'm experiencing this map at the exact same time you guys are watching the video. So if I can't find it, I'm sure someone else who plays on the map will find it and tell me where it is. Um, but yeah, it's usually at the farm. Where you make your compost and then you can do compost spreading which functions very similar to fertilizer um, hmm. big area then for placeables as well um, now i know what some people are going to say and it's kind of one of the things i always kind of feel a little bit now when i play Stevie's maps like this or have a look at Stevie's maps 
everything's all condensed, obviously, here at the main farm. So you spend a lot of time in this area of the map. Um, obviously, at the minute, I'm getting 80 frames per second, which is not bad playing at 4K on my PC. Um, getting 80 FPS, that's pretty freaking good, I would say. Um, single player, 90%. 90 fps sometimes it dips into um however once you start getting more equipment and start getting like animals and things put in the frame rate can drop quite significantly um and the performance can suffer a bit and i always think it could be nice it would be nice just me spitballing here if maybe one day Stevie did a map where instead of having one big centralised farm location, he split off some of the things, you know, like, you know, the animals, for example. Have a, like, a cow area. Have a pig area. Have a sheep area. Have a chickens area. Split that stuff away from the farm into its own separate locations on the map. For two reasons, A, it would improve performance when you're playing, and secondly, it gets players actually travelling around the map. Because generally you find, <laughs> what you'll find is, people buy all the fields close to the farm, and then as they're expanding, they just buy the fields again next to the farm. Now it looks like, wow, 1 million, 100, 2 million 600 thousand. 6,795,000. 5 million. Wow, the land prices here are very expensive. 19 million. Wow. Fucking hell, 19 million. That's quite a lot. But then again, these it is a 4X map. These fields are huge. Massive. Um, there's nothing to stop a player, I suppose, from um, shrinking them down a little bit, if need be. I mean, you obviously get four fields to start with, which are quite nice in size. Um, yeah nice looking little map and like I say fields are I want to say they're all fairly rectangular again I would like to see some organic field shapes some nice field shapes um, at some point in time because um, it definitely makes it more interesting to play uh, when you're having to actually steer and drive vehicles on fields as opposed to just sit there with cruise control <laughs> engaged going up and down in straight lines all the time uh, you, you can fall asleep <laughs> at the wheel um, yeah it's a nice lovely little map well I'll say lovely little map it's a 4x map uh, flat out farm and I, I think the only other 4x map stevie has done or well he's done two he's done a version of this map with no fields that you have to make all the fields yourself that could be an interesting concept to play and then you could actually make all the field shapes how you want them to be um and that is available on stevie's youtube channel if you want the version of this map with no fields um, so you basically build it yourself. <laughs> or, uh, he's got the Elm Creek 4X, where he's taken Giant's Elm Creek map, and then he's expanded it with his own additions uh, and changes all the way around it. So basically, Giant's map sits in the middle of Stevie's expanded map, um, which I have played. I have played the 4X, um expanded map and that was quite nice that had some unique field shapes on it i have to say and was quite good um and obviously with it obviously being like the elm creek map obviously it's got like all the lived in giant stuff 
bit of a town feel to it. It's got a bit of a town feel to it in the middle with like living elements and stuff. Um, obviously, there's probably not going to be much of a lived in feel to these um, places, but we can go and have a look. We've got cars, but I bet we're not going to have a lot of pedestrians wandering around on this map, if any. Um, oh, no, there is some, there's a lady there. There are collectibles as well. Stevie's obviously got the 100 collectibles on the map. All the uh, toys, which he puts in all his maps. The um, wooden toys. Um, so they are there for people that like to do the collectible hunt. And I've just shown you where two of them are. Over here at the... Oh, there's a third one. <laughs> They're not terrible. They're usually not too difficult to find on Stevie's maps. You just got to kind of hunt and look in corners. And you can usually get a few. There's the toy shop. Yeah, you got the uh, fuel factory where obviously you can sell and deliver fuel here that you produce later on and then obviously fill up your vehicles. Uh, you then got the bowling alley sell point. There's a collectible up there. You need to jump off a tractor to get that one. Swimming pool. That's an. I've not seen that before on Stevie's map. Oh, hello. There's a. Uh, flexible. There's another one on the table. A little piggy. I ain't gonna go round and show you where all hundred collectibles are right now. <laughs> but this gives you a little bit of an idea where they are where you'll find them. You probably won't find any at the main farm, I'm going to say. say. Yes, yeah, see, that's what I was expecting to see. I was expecting to see that. That at the house. I think there's a bit of a mistake there. I think something's not quite right when I loaded into the map. Because um, that fountain should be at the, the house as well. I think. Basketball court, and you got obviously basketballs. Do you remember in FS17 on the um, uh, the map in FS17? What was it called? Oh, my mind's gone blank. Uh, the American map for FS17. Can't remember it. Can't remember the name of it. But yeah, it had basketball courts and there was an achievement in game to score uh, three pointers from each of the basketball courts. If you did it from each court that was on the map, you scored a three pointer by shooting the basketball, by picking it up with a hand tool and then using the throw tool option, um, you would get an achievement. You know, cool little things like that. I need to come back to farm soon. Um, yeah, just houses. Uh, bit of rubble. But yeah, this map is clearly designed and intended as, you know, for the people that want to do big, big farming. Just want to just get on fields and farm. Given the nature of the 4X map and the fact the fields are as big as they are. Um, there obviously is room for you to do placeables and put in your own production buildings and stuff, which is great if you use additional mods, which give you different types of productions, like, for example, the Dragon's Den mod pack, which adds a whole load of productions. Um, that's really quite useful. Um, 
because then you've got room to put down all the massive menagerie of buildings that that mod gives you for producing loads of different things. And of course, being able to place the sell points so then you can sell the things that that mod gives you. Right, one thing I'm going to do very quickly, I'm just going to exit back to the main menu and I'm going to load the map up then in start from scratch mode. Um, just so we can see what you get if you start in start from scratch off our manager see what the map is like because uh, I know some people might want to do that and um, start their own playthrough so this is obviously the map on the map selection screen uh, I don't have a lot of mods just my essential mods really um, plus the DLCs um, and then obviously the one mod that Stevie gives me, which is that Tempo DLC Vegetable Planter Edition thing. Um, but yeah, other than that, it's just my normal normal mods that I always run. Don't play the game without. Um, dev controls, additional game settings, stock check, um, straw from contracts, better contracts. Um, all those sorts of mods they're all compatible with the map as you've seen as I've loaded up perfectly fine I know some people I did see some reports on Stevie's Facebook page that um, some people are having problems getting the map to fully load and it was because of mod conflicts mod issues um, okay so in start from scratch then we don't get any buildings uh, we get all the vehicles. Um, and we strangely get a diesel tank. Random diesel tank. But everything else is missing. From the main farm. And also, the other little area down here. And down here are missing. Okay. Uh... Let's go down to the shop, actually. So, again, if you've played any of Stevie's maps, um, his American maps, you'll recognise the shop. Standard Stevie farm shop. Uh, vehicle shop. So, if we have a run this way, the first little place we should come to... I hope I've got to keep going. <laughs> it's going to be that little placeable area. And obviously, me running like this gives you some idea of the scale of some of these fields. And how big they are. But yeah, start, start from scratch would be very interesting on this map. Uh, because you don't have enough money... You won't have enough money to actually buy any of the land. I mean, that's three million. That's one million. Um, that's 237,000 just to buy that little placeable area. So yeah, you're not going to be starting with any fields. <laughs> you're going to be having to do some contract work initially. As a start from scratch person, yeah. So the little house has gone in start from scratch mode. Uh... Very, very interesting, I have to say. Could be a great concept, actually, starting from scratch. I mean, admittedly, it does seem a little bit odd that you get all the vehicles. I suppose you could sell those all off um, and using dev controls you can adjust your budget, you can adjust the money or if you don't have dev controls, if you're on PC obviously you will be on PC playing this map because you're, it's only available on PC. Um, you can edit your XML file of the save and change the money back to the correct value for starting and then you could have at it. Um, the good thing is you're going to have... Obviously, better contract. I've got better contracts installed. Don't worry about that. 
uh, or that. Uh, we've got 13,000. Okay. 241,000 or 331,000 bucks for fertilizing field 19. 37 grand for plowing field 2, which is 33 acres. Okay. Harvesting field 17. 27 grand, which is a 44 acre field. Um, spraying 53 grand, spraying a 98 acre field. No, it's gone. It's gone. Okay, 59 acre field then. 32 grand. Those prices seem awful, awful cheap to me. I mean, okay, those fields are not very big. You kind of let that go, wouldn't you? But then some of it, you think, hang on a minute. But yeah, it is what it is, folks. There we are. That is the map. And like I say, if you start and start from scratch, this whole area here is completely empty. And you can lay it out, put whatever buildings you want on it. Obviously, you can repaint all the ground where the ground details haven't changed. I assume, though, I'm going to assume that there's probably a traffic spline running through the map that you probably don't want to paint over, build over, or anything. And it's probably this area here that I'm running on. I know on Tranquil Water, Stevie painted a little bit of an area on the map just to um, indicate where you should avoid placing stuff so as not to mess with the traffic spline built into the map, which is for like the AI, if you're using AI workers and using them to deliver crops or drive to and from the farm and stuff then obviously you don't want to mess that spline up. Um, but yeah, you can obviously come in here, build anything. There's plenty of room to build stuff. Um, and yeah, Stevie coming at us with a 4X map. Great to play, I think, or will be great to play in multiplayer. Definitely. Um, and I'm looking forward to doing that in... A few weeks time maybe a few weeks time i will probably start maybe change my multiplayer server over because obviously we've got mr richard now and mr helgi of course playing with me so we've got three three regular farmers and then obviously if anybody else wants to come and join they will be able to do so as and uh, when things are permitted so i look forward to seeing you all um very soon doing some multiplayer farming on this map for now though carry on please supporting the channel by watching all my content uh, make sure to give the video a like a thumbs up leave me a comment in the comment section down below share this video to other people that may be interested in watching it and um, I will see you all soon with another video but for now from me take care of yourselves ladies and gents stay safe and goodbye <laughs>